No. Hi, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. We're going to create rain and we're going to animate it as a style. So I've got a background layer, create a new layer. I'm going to fill it with black, alt delete, which fills it with my foreground color, which is black. Then we're going to convert this to a smart filter. So then we can go back and uh, change any of the filters if we need to. Let's do filter noise. Add noise and around 120 ish Gaussian monochromatic be fine. And then filter blur, blur more. We've got to give it a slight blur so the levels work properly. Then filter, uh, nope, we want to do now a adjustment layer. Now I'm going to hold down Alt and that will, when I choose levels, give me the option to tick this box, which means it creates a clipping mask. So it will only affect the layer with the rain on it. So I'm going to bring the black slider in quite far, like so, and then I'm going to come back down to the rain layer, I'm going to filter, blur, motion blur, and then going straight down at 90 degrees, something like that. We can always change it, remember, and then I'm going to set this blend mode to screen. Now can't see much we need to darken up this background let's first give it some hue and saturation take the color right down and on the levels I've just come back up to the levels and I'm just going to bring this till we see something that resembles rain so we can also maybe give this a curves on the background there we go, nice and dark. Now with this layer and this layer, we select them both and then we need to rasterize the layers and then Control E to merge them together. Let's change them back to screen. Right, now we need to come to filter. Now where we're gonna animate this, when it passes down, if we don't do the next step, well then we're gonna end up with a line going through our range. So we're gonna try and avoid that. So I'm gonna go filter, other offset and we want to offset it in the vertical and I've got it offset by about minus 912 this might will probably pretend uh, this will probably depend on the size of your image click OK now I'm going to get the spot healing brush on content of where make my brush a bit bigger make the hardness a bit more and the spacing about there I'm going to click once hold down shift and click at the end And there, content aware has kind of blended it a little bit better for us. That's great. Now I'm going to come to turn off these and go to edit and define pattern. Pattern, and we'll call this rain two. And then we'll turn all these back on. And on this layer, I'm just going to fill it with black for now. We'll set this to normal for now. Now we're going to open up the blend modes and we're going to take out the fill and pattern overlay we're going to choose the last one which is this one and set the blend mode to screen okay let's create a video timeline let's call this rain layer actual rain bring this up a little bit come down and on style we want to click for a keyframe let's come to the end which is about five seconds like so then reopen our pattern overlay get our shift tool just move down maybe once one and a half and click OK and it's automatically dropped a keyframe because the pattern has changed uh, position so now when we scroll through the rain will be falling. If we press the space bar you can see that it is actually falling. If you want it to fall slower then grab the end of your timeline, make it longer and take your keyframe out. And that way it will move slower. If you want it to move faster get your keyframe, move it closer and you'll see that our rain moves faster. So that's how you create animated rain. Thanks for watching.